Welcome back to John's Films. A couple weeks ago, we built a workstation for my friend Wendy. We ran it through a standard slew of benchmarks, including the Puget Systems benchmarks. I'm loving these because they give you a breakdown of your score at the top in blue and your frame rates down in the bottom of different components across several different codecs. What's cool about this is Wendy ran the free benchmarks against DaVinci Resolve Free Edition. When she did that, she got a score of 785 for her Ryzen 3800X and 2070-based system. She since has upgraded to Studio and reran them, and whoa, we got a performance improvement. Now, we knew this would happen based on our previous benchmarking, but what I love about this is it gives us a clear breakdown where we see the improvements. If we look at the H.264 performance at a 4K timeline with 150 megabits per second, 8-bit footage, you can see... In the basic grades, she grabbed almost a 40% improvement in frame rates. Now, the score above doesn't tell the t full story because if you look down here at the studio-only effects, for instance, not optimized media, but temporal noise reduction, the tilt-shift blur that's in the open FX here, you'll notice there wasn't much of a difference. That's because when you execute and run in DaVinci Resolve any of these items with the free version, it puts a watermark over the top. This is beautiful, though, because it can give you an idea of what type of performance you will see when you run this in a studio version, should you upgrade. It'll also show you what the output looks like. If you look into the render folder, which is stored inside the 4K benchmarking zone, this is also the folder you need to delete after you run these tests. So what did we learn? We learned that you get a massive uptick in your H.264 basic grade, we learned that that holds true across most of the codecs. Here's 130% across 4K Red, but not all of them, because not all of them can be run in DaVinci Resolve Free Edition. And that's why some of these are holding steady, and that's actually suppressing the overall score quite a bit. So if you want to estimate exactly what type of uptick will I get in the standard color grading, cutting, whatnot, you could expect similar hardware. You could expect around a 40% increase in render times with DaVinci Resolve Studio. All right, thanks for sticking around for this quick video. Wanted to give you an update from Wendy. Big shout out to Wendy. Thanks for rerunning the benchmarks. And hey, you've got a hell of a system there. You know how this works. Like and subscribe if you would. Helps other people find the footage. And have a great day.